Hey guys, um, I'm making this video to show you how to make animated mods in Brawlhalla. Um, so before I start, I'm just going to tell you what programs I'm using. First is JPEX, which is a Flash D compiler. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone um, that does modding pretty much uses that. Um, but I'll put a link in the description anyway, so if you don't have it, you can download it. And the second one is Adobe Animate. It's basically a modern version of Flash. Uh, I'm going to use that to do all the animating. You can download a free trial from the website. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. Alright, so let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is open up the Brawlhalla game files. I'm going to find the character I want to mod, um, which is core. So I'm just going to open that up. Alrighty, so I'm going to find the sprite I want to animate, which is this robot head here. Uh, so I'm just going to select that, right click on it, and then export selection. Um, you want to make sure you're going to export it as a SWF file right here. So you make sure that's selected and then go OK. I'm just going to save it to my desktop, but you can put it wherever you want. Alrighty, so once that's done, it's going to create a folder called Sprites. You can just open that up and then eventually you'll find your, your file in there. Okay, so I'm just going to open up Adobe Animate now. Alright, I'm going to go... I'm going to go File, New, and then I'm going to use the Action Script Free platform. The height and width doesn't matter, just leave it at default and then go Create. Alright, so we got our blank canvas here, our timeline down the bottom, and our library here. And then um, to open up that file that we just exported into um, Adobe Animate, we just open up the folder, just drag and drop it in. Simple as that. Alright, now we basically need to do a few things to prepare, um, prepare the image um, for animation and sort of exporting back out and yeah, um, sort of creating a structure so it, it sort of works when we export it out. So first thing I'm going to do is select it, right click and go break apart. So it should sort of break apart into its own little, little bits. And then what I'm going to do is create sort of a structure now um, that sort of um, matches the way um, the Brawlhalla files are structured. So I'm going to highlight everything, right click and then convert to symbol and the name, we can keep the name the same, but the type, we need to change that to movie clip. So change it to movie clip, then go OK. It shows up there in the library. Um, then we're going to double click um, into the movie clip. And then we're going to select everything again, or make sure it's selected. Um, so yeah, going to do the same thing again. Right click, convert to symbol. And then make sure this time we make make it a graphic. So click graphic and then go OK. So you should have your movie clip and your graphic. And um, you know you got your movie clip. And then inside your movie clip you have your graphic. So what we're going to do? We're going to select the graphic, click in it again, and then we're ready. Um, pretty much ready to animate. Um, we just need to do one more thing. So we want to make sure that um, when we export it back out it just lines up with the rest of the character. So to do that, um, we're going to open up the original Brawlhalla file here. We're going to um, double click on the sprite that we're modding and where it says bounds here, um, we just need to take note of this X and Y coordinate. Alright, so I'm just going to... So let's go back to Adobe Animate then make sure um, Symbol 2 is selected, which is the graphic, and go up here to the right hand corner, go properties. Alright, so it's not selected, so I'll just go um, go out here and we'll make sure it's selected. 
So go back up here and you see the X and Y coordinates here and it is selected. So we're just going to fill in the X and Y coordinates with the ones from um, the original file. So it's control C, copy it over, um, same with the Y, control C, copy it over, see how it moves it up and then um, yeah we're ready to animate. So first thing we want to do when we're animating is we want to make sure that basically um, we only animate the, the graphic here um, and we don't really touch the movie clip so we want to go inside the movie clip just double click it right and there's our there's our, gra our graphic so we want to go in there so double click it again and then yeah we're ready to animate so I'm just gonna go down here to the timeline and add a few keyframes. Um, this tutorial isn't really going to be too much on how to use Adobe Animate. Um, if you want to do that, um, there's heaps of tutorials out there. But you you get a, you can get a general idea of just watching me um, use it. So all right, I'm going to start. Um, yeah, animating. Alrighty, so there we have our, uh, have it, our animation. Um, so there's a little electric animation, sort of zapping around. So um, basically, we're done, and we just need to export it. Um, so first thing we need to do is um, select the movie clip up here, and um, we need to make sure it um, matches the frames of. Our animation here so that's eight frames I believe so we got our movie clip up here and then we just add eight regular frames in I'll just remove that one and then you can sort of just see it see it playing so yeah there it is and um, after we've done that we can just right click here export as um, SWF and just I'm just gonna save it as robot head Alright, and then we're done with Adobe Animate. So I'm just going to minimize that. Minimize that. And yeah, so now what we need to do is basically replace, replace the old sprite in the original file. Um, so I'm just going to open that up. And uh, I'm also going to open up the robot head file that we just um, exported out um, at the same time so I can just drag and drop it in there or you can open it up at the top left hand corner so 
yeah, what you need to do now um, is move this sprite over to the original file. So to do that, I'm just going to right click on it, copy tag with dependencies to the Gollum um, SWF file, and you see it changes up here. So if we go into sprites and scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see it here. So now to replace um, the original one with the animated one, what we need to do is click here, click the little plus symbol, um, select frame one, right click on it, add tag, and then go place object two tag, this one right here. And then once you click the little plus symbol, you should see it there, the new one right there. So we need to edit it. And then we need to um, change place flag has character to true. So where it says false, you just click there and a little checkbox will come up. And then you click in sort of the white space to sort of refresh it. Now we need to change, see this character ID here? We need to change that to the same character ID as the sprite we just moved over. So that's 1823. So I'm just going to go 1823 and just save it. Right, and now I'm going to save the file. And you, after you save the file, you see it moves up to the same spot um, that the original file was at. So once you see that, what you can do is, remember the ID here, but what you want to do is, to the original one, you want to right click, and then you just want to remove it with dependencies. So just go ahead and do that. All right, now you've got the, the modified one here. And now you just need to right click it, raw edit, and then edit again. And then you want to change the ID to what the original one was, which was 14. So 14, save it. Then it should change. You'll see it change there and then save the file. All right. And I'm just going to close it and then reopen it back up just to see if it's worked. Alright, there it is. Looks like it's worked. Let's have a look. Yeah, so we got our little animation there. Alrighty, so we're all good. We just need to test it out. So open up Brawl. Alright, flying, training, yeah, there it is, in game, let's have a look, see he's got his little electric brain going on, and yeah, that's sort of how you just add an animation, um, if you've got any questions or any suggestions for like um, workflow improvements, stuff like that, um, if you know better ways to do things, I'm always open um, to have a chat about, about that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, feel free to leave a comment um, or talk to me on the Discord. Alright, thank you.